just a bit of a heads up for you. You can do a search on Amazon and there's all manner of black mirrors, scrying mirrors which are out there. Uh, black obsidian, and even like proper black obsidian things. I mean the price ranges goes from you know fourteen ninety nine right up to I guess sixty probably oh god there's there's a hundred. There's a hundred pounds crikey scrying mirror which you can get uh, from from Amazon. And then of course you've got smaller discs there, they're about twelve thirty four. Uh, and of course y your black mirror crystal balls, black obsidian. So there's quite a lot of things which is appropriate and of course they're on that image there they're kind of like showing you how they think it could be used which is more like tradition based rather than an attempt to try and understand things from a more like um, experimental scientific point of view. Alright so it, the bottom line is it's out there and I think that scrying and scrying mirrors are becoming probably much more of a thing now as um, the new age movement seems to have given it's given away to kind of like more witchcraft orientated feelings uh, which is you know obviously that's got its positives but I think the you know we still got to like learn how to use all these tools in a much more rational and scientific way if we're going to like lay down a culture for the future whereby there can actually be some kind of like proper intellectual academic research into this stuff done by proper scientists uh, and then bringing the knowledge into the mainstream so that we can help with things like human understanding, human communication, uh, and also human well-being psychologically, emotionally, and potentially physically as well. So we as a culture are still doing things wrong, but because there's so much of this stuff out there, it's got to be just a question of time before you know we can not only hit the mainstream culturally, but we could hit the mainstream eventually scientifically as well. That's essentially what my hope would be.